my early life, my big dream was to be a cowboy. My senior year, I had a serious spinal cord injury when the pickup I was working on ran over me. When I was seven or eight, I went with my dad to a welding shop to have a trailer hitch welded on and the guy doing the work told me that welding was just like magic. Then one day I just had a pile of scrap with some interesting interesting shapes in it and uh, just pulled those pieces out and welded a little sculpture together and kind of started on an art career with that. Created uh, work now for 32 years, welded sculpture and I specialize in, in the found discarded objects. For me it's a symbol of what happened in my life. I was uh, excelling be, you know, what I thought my purpose was to be a cowboy and then uh, one day broken and at the end of that hospital stay the doctor said, well, your, your hope now in life is to check in the rest home. You should live three years. For me, that's symbolically throwing away, you know, a teenage kid. And so I purposely take broken, discarded objects to blend them into the art I do as that symbolic journey. Those pieces were once functioning then one day broken, thrown away, so I'll bring them back to, uh, to make them into new entities like, like I did. So that's a kind of a powerful base symbolism that's in all my work. Why are you letting someone else define you? But really, why do we? Do we let other people do that? And what I had to do at an early age, because I was forced in and into it, was to define who I was and what the value of my life's experience was now going to be after the injury. And so what it really, the essence of that is, is learning how to listen and trust your own heart, because that's your beacon in life. Uh, Joseph Campbell, the great uh, American philosopher and mythologist, described bliss as being in the right place at the right time and truly succeeding, excelling at what your purpose is. It's my life story and journey as well. <laughs>